what's up guys and welcome back to my channel so it's crocktober girl um yeah so it is crocktober and i have been debating on whether or not to buy these crocs <laughs> So I've been debating on whether or not to purchase these Crocs. I've seen them in so many different places and I could not make up my mind as to whether or not I wanted them. So I went to Shoe Show, I believe. I went to Shoe Show and they had them for $30, $33, I think I paid for them. Let me look at the tag. $34.99. So I went to Shoe Show. They had them for $34.99 and so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy them. Um, so they are these, the Galaxy Crocs. Um, I really like them. I They, they match my sweatsuit. <laughs> I just did a video on this, so it'll be at or around this video. But anyway, they match my sweatsuit and they are, you know, super cute. Granted, they are made in Vietnam. I got a men's seven and a women's nine. You guys know what I say. They're probably going to be a little too short, but I'll try them on for you. Oh, here they are. They are really cute. They do look very galaxy-esque. And I was thinking that I would put some pretty specific gibbets in them. So this is like a two for one that you get. It's Croctober. <laughs> two for. Anyway, so... I saw these um, Crocs online. They were the Bad Bunny Crocs. And the one thing that I can't stand about Croc is that every time they make a new release, it's a white Croc. Like, come on. I have white. I don't need another pair. Like, what? So, um, the Bad Bunny Crocs were released and they were white Crocs with glow-in-the-dark gibbets. So I attempted to do a glow-in-the-dark gibbet DIY for you guys. Girl, total fail. Do you hear me? Total fail. So instead, I then turned around and went to Amazon and purchased these. So these gibbets are glow-in-the-dark. I'll show you a picture of them here now mind you anytime you purchase anything that is glow in the dark the thing that they have to do is charge they have to charge indirect sunlight so if you go outside and you you know you outside all day doing your little thug fizzle and you let your crocs your charms charge then they will glow in the dark for how long girl i don't know but when i took the pictures for you guys i just flashed my phone flash a few times to try and get that same look so i thought i would do my own like bad bunny-esque crocs so on his he had a a rabbit i think he had a rabbit and like a star and i think like a flame so let's see what we have here there's a unicorn a unicorn tell me where that movie's from what movie that's from I bet nobody knows um let's see what we have here um okay so his crocs i think had a star they had a rabbit and they had a flame okay oh a crab what does the crab have to do with it? What's crab got to... <laughs> Not what's crab's got to do with it. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know what? I'm going to rethink this. Okay. So walk with me. Talk with me. So when I put my gibbets on my Crocs, there has to be a theme. Like it has to be, you know something like it has to run together and i know that this was supposed to be the bad bunny croc diy but walk with me okay so hundreds of thousands of years ago right god got tired of the dinosaurs and he was like i'm done with y'all boom so <laughs> so he sent like meteors and stuff from the galaxy to destroy the dinosaurs land before time okay 
And so I'm going to put dinosaurs on my Crocs. This is everything. <laughs> this is everything. So there are six dinosaurs in this pack. Oh, there's more than six. All right. So I got these three. And then I got these four. So when I pick my Croc charms, I always try to make sure that the Croc charms either match the Crocs or they are contrasting colors so that they can that they stick out and they can be seen well. But I try to make sure that there is some sort of theme. Sometimes the theme is literally just nothing, like no theme at all. But that's not very often. Um, typically, if my Crocs have dibbits, there was a theme. But so this is them with the glow in the dark gibbets in them i think they're so cute with the little dinosaurs on them oh my gosh you cannot tell me nothing i will be out here living my best life my whole best life with these gibbets on with the dinosaurs on them but yeah so i got this pack of gibbets from amazon i believe it was 18.99 there's hair in there um i believe it was 18.99 and um it took them what a day or so to get here and i picked up the crocs again from shoe show i am not sure if they are selling these particular ones at the croc store the last two croc stores that i went into did not have them they also didn't have the bay crocs in either of those stores so but you know who knows they get different shipments of different things all the time so you guys know that I am always creating. In the midst of this video, I got an idea to do something else with these Crocs. So I grabbed some acrylic glow-in-the-dark paint and I've decided to make the Crocs themselves glow along with the gibbets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the paint out and I'm going to take the tail end of my paintbrush and I'm just going to try and fill out some of the white spaces on these Crocs to try and get them to glow in the dark and see what it looks like. I'm not sure if just adding it in a few spots is going to look good or if I'm going to need to do more. So we will see. I could have added a little bit more paint, but I didn't really see the need to do so. They are glowing, so it works. But I love these newest pair. Hello, holla at me. Um, Galaxy, Land Before Times, Erasing the Dinosaur, Dinosaur Annihilation, Annihilation, Dinosaur Annihilation. There we go. My Dinosaur Annihilation Crocs. Boop, boop. I love these. I hope that you like them too. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will catch you all in the next one. Side note, if you guys would like to see that DIY fail, um, it will be up at or around this video. Thank you guys. Bye. If there are any questions or comments that you may have, please leave those things down below. To see more content like this, click the pictures to the right, and please don't forget to click my little picture to subscribe to this channel. I mean, it's free, so why not? Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.